right, Jamie Andreas from GuitarPrinciples.com here. I hope you're having a great day, and I'm going to make it even better because I'm going to give you another awesome guitar lesson where I reveal the real secrets of playing great guitar and the hidden details you don't hear about. You know, in rock and blues, you only sound as good as your bends. And most people learning bends think that the bend is done with the fingers but the fingers are only part of the mechanics of bending. I'm Jamie Andreas from GuitarPrinciples.com and I'm going to teach you the real mechanics of bending. You will learn that the bend is powered by the forearm and the finger is held rigid to transfer that force to the string and that the wrist must not be allowed to rise up. It'll take the force away from the fingers. Let's talk about proper bending technique. A lot of people do this wrong. So, Here's what we don't want to do, which is what a lot of people do. Some people make it work to a certain extent, but it's going to get you in trouble sooner or later. If you come to the neck like this with your hand in this kind of position far away and not in your pentatonic cradling position, but in this type of position where you have a lot of space, and if you just move your fingers like that to bend the string, it gives you very lim limited results, uh, puts the stresses on, on the hand and arm the wrong way. You can manage some kind of vibrato, but not very well. So that's what we don't want to do. What do we want to do? We want to get into our usual cradled position, making contact here with the thumb over. Now the fingers are not the main driver of the bend. Okay. In other words, the extensors in the top of the forearm do this. What they're going to do is they're going to, hold the fingers rigid. I want my fingers very rigid because when I bend the strings gonna push on my finger I don't want it to collapse it. I don't want the joints to collapse. So I want to come in here like this. I'm gonna be like this. The driver, the the force on, that goes on the string is going to go on this way. It's forearm rotation. So the fingers are held rigid and then the forearm turns like this. That's the bending motion. Okay, and you'll have later when you add your vibrato to your bends, it's going to work really well. Now, one of the other things that goes wrong with this when people do this is their wrist comes up like this. Okay, I don't want that wrist coming up. I want it to stay out and down there, so it's going to look like that. Now, in the beginning, you, your finger might collapse like that, so just build the strength up slowly. I would start on the third string. You could come up here and start, you know, way up here on the uh, 14 for your first bends. And when you work it into the licks. Oh, yeah, one other very important thing is that the thumb is very active. and. I have found students just for some reason, they do not activate the thumb. The thumb just sits there doing this while the forearm does the work and the fingers. You have to put counter pressure down with the thumb, okay? So the thumb is always working. Your thumb should look like this and not like this when you bend, okay? Um, so you're going to be pushing down with the thumb. And you know, when you practice this, push down with the, with the thumb first, okay? Push down with that thumb first. Then get your fingers, make sure you've got your contact. And then move from the forearm and keep that wrist down. Move down the strings. Now you may notice as you watch this video that I give you the real secrets of great guitar playing. I don't tell you just what to do, I tell you how to do it. So please help me spread this unique teaching by commenting, sharing, subscribing, and of course ringing that bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new and incredible guitar lesson. Thank you so much.